welcome. Um, I'm here to teach you how to go through a proper way of doing a walk through a make ready apartment. Let's start off in the back, okay? You always want to start off in the back and work your way to the front. Alright? This is the back, this is the bedroom. The first thing to do is to go to your windows. You always want to check your blinds, make sure they work properly. Make sure they let up and back down. Make sure they work properly. And while the blinds are up, check your screens and your locks on your windows and make sure they lock properly. And like I said, double check all your windows and screens. Make sure there's no openings, no where birds have ripped the screens opening. If they are, please take them out and get them rescreened. The next thing we're going to go to is the electrical in the apartment. In this bedroom, you have two types of plugs. The ones that have pop power on both sides and one with the light switch. First thing you do, you want to go to your first plug, which is here. And make sure you have proper ground. The two lights represent that the power is proper. Okay, now we're going to plug the top. We're going to check this here and make sure it turns off and on. That's a solid one. Go to the next one. Check it out. And then you talk. That's a stop. Go to our next one. And our next one. This one is not on, so that represents that it's a switch. So you go to your switch and make sure it's working properly. Comes on, you have your double switch light come on. Usually you have two in a room. Show sure, this one. Okay. Along with both lights. Make sure you check your lights in your fan. Make sure there's no wobbles in the fan. It's all uh, smooth and not shaking. Then you check your vents. Make sure your vents is clean. And then clean of debris or anything that's hanging from it. Next, make sure you have all your door stops in place. If they've been painted over, replace them. Check all your door knobs. Make sure they're good and tight. Make sure you feel your hinges and your doors swing freely without any noise or squeaks. Next, we check out the closet. Check the shelves. Make sure they're good and tight. There's no looseness in them and they have good supports. Now we check the AC vents. Make sure you got lots of blood. Filter has been changed. Okay, next we go to the tub. You always want to check for leaks. Make sure nothing's leaking. All your seals are good and tight. And after that, you will want to check, make sure your drain is working properly. Which has good drain. Next, we go to the toilet. Check for leaks under the toilet. Make sure it's dry, it's tight. Toilet seat is in good working condition. Caps on the bolts. Also check your tissue holder, make sure it's good and tight, in place. Your towel racks, same way, make sure they're good and tight, in place. And your shower rods. 
the good and tight in place. Same procedure with the sink. Make sure there's no leaks. It drains properly. Make sure there's no wetness under the sink. No leaks, fearful leaks. It's good and dry and also clean. Also, you want to check the electrical on your GFI for working properly. Test it, make sure it goes to default, ground faults, and reset. Okay, also double check your plugs in the living room. Make sure they're working properly. The living room will have, um, some of them have also have the light, the, have the lamp light plugs also. So the best way to do it is make sure your switch is on. To double check. Okay, let's go to the next one. Make sure it looks good and tight. Go to your switch. Double check, make sure it works properly. Also, double check your blinds, make sure they're working properly, secure first, make sure they lock into the doors, they don't move, check them, make sure they work properly. Check your knobs and your locks on the doors. Make sure they work properly. I want to make sure the sink has two stoppers. Make sure the drain line works properly. The sprayer. Make sure it's good and tight. No leaks. Check the leak. Same way with under the sink. Make sure the sink is clean and no leaks. Check for leaks. Check your plugs with your GFIs. Make sure they're working properly. Check your run on your GFIs. Make sure they tied in with each other. Water pocket. Now to your microwave. Check your lights. Make sure they work properly. Check your exhaust fan. Make sure it's working properly. Inside your microwave, make sure it's nice and clean. The door's tight. Everything's tight and secure. Now, on your stove, turn on all your stove elements, make sure they're working properly. You can feel the heat out over each element. In your oven, make sure it's heating up. Check your light. Also check your dishwasher, make sure it's locked and unlocks properly. Make sure it's clean and in good working condition.
also check the refrigerator. Make sure it's nice and cold in the freezer and also clean. Check your shelves, make sure they're in good, tight. Same way with the bottom part of the refrigerator. Check the shelves. Make sure they're good and tight. Check your drawers. Also, set your temperature to the lowest setting until ready to rent. Next, check your cloud fixtures. All your lights, whatever lights you have. Make sure they're clean of any type of bugs or debris or grease from stove from cooking. Check your lights in your door entry. And also in your laundry room. Check the lighting. Make sure they're working properly. Make sure no leaks around shut off valves. Check your electrical. Go to your breaker panel and make sure the water heater is in the off position until the apartment is ready for rent. And before you leave, always check your vinyl in your bathroom. Make sure there's no cuts or any debris on the vinyl. Check your quarter round. Make sure it's good and tight and secure. Check your threshold area. Make sure the strip is in good shape. Now, in your bedrooms, always check. Make sure the carpet is clean and, and no stains on the carpet. Same way with the living room. Make sure everything is clean and have nice, where the cleaners have did a nice pattern in the carpet. Check your kitchen vinyl. Same situation. Check for your quarter rounds, making sure they're in good shape. Check for cl the cleanness of the vinyl, no cuts or uh, dirt on the vinyl in the areas. As leaving the apartment, you would want to check the lock to make sure it works smoothly. Lock and unlock freely by the door open. Check the knob and close the door. And check it, make sure it locks same way. With the dead bolt and also, Check it with the key to make sure it locks smoothly. Check for the seal around the door and make sure it's a good tight seal. And the door has no debris. want to test all the smoke detectors. All you have to do is press one because all of them are daisy chained together and they will respond. And you would like to at least wait 30 to 40 seconds to make sure you don't hear a chirp to indicate a dead battery, a weak battery. That concludes the tutorial on making an apartment market ready.